welcome back to a random lifestyle vlog. We have another advent calendar to unbox, and this one is Molten Brown Advent Calendar for 2022. Uh, I'm super excited. I've been buying these calendars for like years now. I skipped the last year's one because it didn't really seem super exciting to me. I mean, the content wasn't really much up my alley, but this one looked lovely and look at this packaging it's just so stunning so uh without further ado let's just start with the unboxing so this is how the calendar actually looks inside it is just so beautiful uh also i love the fact that it's actually reusable um i remember the last couple of years it was just like boxes uh so it wasn't really much something that you could reuse this time we have drawers so that will be so much better Okay, I think it's going to be visible that way. So uh, number one is over here. I'm actually excited. I love Molten Brown. And we have a Christmas bubble. So this one is in, sh in shade, in scent Merry Berries and Mimosa Bath and Shower Gel. So this is in their new scent. Very much the color of the other calendar. Uh, let me just have a quick sniff because I, yeah, a really lovely berry scent. But it's not very kind of like summery. I think this is like an um, all year round fragrance. Uh, it doesn't really scream spring or summer to me, even though it's actually very fruity. But it kind of gives you the vibe of like this kind of like fruit, fruity punch or something like that. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be quite cool. And I love how like sparkling it is. I'm not sure if you can see that, but like the liquid is sparkly. Uh, so yeah, cool. Happy with that one. Uh, and just if you'd like to know, this one is 75 mils. Number two up here, and we have a matching body lotion. But is it body lotion? Yeah, it's a body lotion, but look how big it is. This is actually 100 mils. So I think, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like um, a couple of years back, uh, the sizes were slightly smaller for like body lotions and stuff like that. I think it was more like, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it was like two years ago, my last Molten Brown and cal calendar, so I might be wrong, but we have 100 mils, same um, scent. I also love the fact that we have this pump here, so that makes it so much easier to like kind of um, uh, to use. So yeah, good start, good first two days. Number three over here, and here we have, oh, okay, we have hydrating shampoo with chamomile, uh, and this one again, uh, 100 mils. Uh, and do you know what? I've been recently using uh, a shampoo and conditioner that I got in um, the oven calendar two years ago, and it was definitely smaller than this. This is 100 mils. Um, the one that I've tried before was volumizing. Uh, this one is hydrating. Uh, let me have a quick sniff because you know it's molten brown so it's all about the scents mm, it's very nice it's very okay it's very pleasant uh unisex scent yeah so that is actually really cool this is for normal hair apparently so i'm kind of assuming the next door will be a conditioner am i right number four let's see and yeah it's a conditioner uh, hydrating conditioner with chamomile. So these are like uh, slightly scented uh, products, more like herbal kind of notes, not necessarily as perfumey as uh, uh, body lotions and uh, shower gels. Okay, number five over here. Okay, so this is mm, the size I was kind of expecting. Um, this is delicious rhubarb and rose. Uh, how big is this? 45 mil. So yeah, that, that's the size I kind of associate with oven calendars quite often. Um, and this is vibrant bathing oil. These are gorgeous. Um, maybe rhubarb and rose is not necessarily like my favorite scent. I like it. I still like it, um, but it's not like my top five or anything. Um, uh, it's perfect kind of springtime, summertime fragrance, not necessarily for winter, but you know, yeah, definitely not a wintery fragrance. Uh, but these bathing oils are actually gorgeous. So yeah, we have that here. Number six is over here and we have something blue. What is this? Uh, this is a coastal cypress and sea fennel. I love this fragrance. Uh, and this is fine liquid hand wash. Yeah, this is 100 mils. And uh, again, I love the fact that we have this pump here, especially with like um, hand wash. It is so annoying when you get just like a simple bottle like this one, and it just takes you ages to wash your hands with this. So obviously you can always decant it and just put it in like a different kind of like a packaging. But um, yeah, I do prefer this 
kind of like uh, packaging uh, much more so great really nice fragrance uh, also quite like i would say um springtime uh, summertime appropriate uh but i don't mind i mean obviously i'm just going to keep it um and use it for around like summertime or springtime Co it says here coastal venturesome uncharted yeah that's how I'll probably describe this fragrance too. Okay, number seven over here. For a moment, I thought it was empty, but it's not. We have our first fragrance here. Uh, and this is, what is this? Can't see. Okay, so this is Coastal Cypress and Sea Fennel Eau de Parfum. So this is great. I love this fragrance. So I'm super happy with it. And I'm just trying to open it. Yeah. So I guess you can just use it like that. Yeah, so let me just have a quick sniff on my skin. Like yeah such a beautiful scent it's like very kind of like a, aquatic uh but yeah really pleasant scent quite aquatic like a very kind of slightly i'll describe it as slightly peppery uh very unisex as well perfect for summer for sure number eight is over here and what do we have what is this oh 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 oh, oh. i think i know I think how it should this is how it should go so you have those like uh fragrances and you can just keep them in this little case here i think you have to just ditch the top thing yeah it's like a magnetic cap here so that's actually quite cool uh i to be honest i really like that size of like fragrances uh how big is this is it 10 mils or or not i can't tell 7.5 mils so these are great uh to keep with you in your handbag um to be honest uh, i don't really like to carry like full-size fragrances with me that just doesn't make sense uh plus plus i'm clumsy like i'm generally clumsy so i don't really want to like lose my favorite fragrance uh, because of that so i really like uh that um kind of like fragrances i just pop them in my handbag uh and this is great and uh, here we actually have like an additional protection for like extra clumsy people like myself uh and it actually looks quite elegant as well so yeah i'm quite happy with that so far all right number nine over here i think we have another fragrance and this one is tobacco absolute i need to i need to try this one out uh yeah as you can see already this advent calendar seems to be slightly like fragrance heavy which is i mean i love fragrances so obviously this is the perfect one for me oh my god this is gorgeous this is just so such a sexy kind of like slightly like leathery scent with this tobacco note you have to like the kind of fragrances to be able to enjoy it like for like full on uh i think robert will love that one too but yeah i can maybe share that with him uh because i'm pretty sure he'll love it too such a beautiful unisex scent but very sexy very kind of dark deep dark kind of perfect for like uh winter time uh, amazing okay that one probably my favorite um fragrance so far in this advent calendar was it number nine i think it was number nine number 10 down here and what do we have we have another 100 mils uh shower gel and this is fiery pink pepper i think you couldn't have an advent calendar with without fiery pink pepper this seems to be like super popular uh i like that scent too um I prefer this one over the uh, rhubarb and rose, although there are fragrances I like more than this one. So it's a good one. It's the one that I definitely like. Uh, it's not the one that I love. Uh, still, I'm going to use it. Quite happy to have it. And it's 100 ml, so that is actually great. This one says smoldering, sultry, stirring. Could be. Yeah, it's like a very kind of likable scent, I think. Um, yeah, number 11. And we have a matching body lotion. Again, 100 ml, so that is great size. Number 12 is over here. We have another bubble. And this one says, I mean, it's a small tone brown here, but what fragrance is this? This is Recharge Black Pepper. So, here how it looks. And uh, this is another like famous uh, fragrance and quite popular, especially on that like autumnal or wintery time. Uh, the peppers, the pepper fragrances are very popular. This one is uh, out of these two, uh, the Recharge Black Pepper is slightly more masculine. They're like both unisex, but I think uh, the Fire Pink Pepper leans uh, slightly masculine. This one uh, feminine, whereas a Recharge Black Pepper leans slightly masculine. Uh, very 
pleasant scent as well. Uh, I uh, love it as a shower gel. I don't think it would be great for me as a fragrance, like in general, but as a, sh as a shower gel, I actually really like it. Okay, number 13. It's over here. What do we have? Okay, what is this? It's Mesmerizing Oud Accord and Gold Precious Body Oil. Oh, I love this fragrance. And there's like, I don't know if you can see, but there are those like little bits inside, like gold flakes or something. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see them because they're tiny, but I love this fragrance. I mean, you have to love your kind of like woody fragrances, like properly woody fragrances, like these smoky, but this is gorgeous. Oh, this is so good. And this is a body oil, so I mean, I do love them. They are so like strongly fragranced. Like honestly, sometimes I feel like uh, when you're using like a uh, Molten Brown product, you don't really have to wear uh, a fragrance to top it up. But you could, obviously, they have a range of fragrances. So number 14 over here, we have another fragrance, yay. The more the merrier. I love fragrances, so obviously I'm happy with like any number of fragrances that you can find in the calendars. And this one is, <laughs> this one is Recharge Black Pepper. Uh, so as I just mentioned, um, uh, this is not the type of fragrance I would personally wear, but I'm pretty sure Robert will like it. So, I mean, he'll be happy to get at least something of the Alvin calendar, I'm pretty sure. He loves fragrances as well, or just as bad as each other. But like, you know, um, I'm, I think he'll be happy to have a, a, a new fragrance to add to his collection. Number 15. It's up here. Oh, she dropped it. Okay, didn't really go that far, luckily. Uh, we have another... Oh, we have Volumizing Shampoo with Nettle. So this is, I think, the one that I've tried before. Um, I'm not sure about the volumizing thing. Uh, I'm not even sure how it's supposed to work. I mean, my hair is like flat, straight. Uh, it's. I'm not really sure how it's supposed to give me more volume, but maybe if your hair is more like... I don't know, like not as straight, then maybe it could actually give you some more volume. I'm not really sure. Anyway, these are really nice. Uh, I've tried uh, the shampoo and conditioner. I like them. They smell nice. Kind of like herbal, uh, not too offensive fragrance. Uh, so yeah, quite happy to have more of that now, uh, even though I'm not really sure how this is supposed to give my hair any volume. <laughs> it just doesn't. I mean, my hair just doesn't really accept any more volume. It's like, it's there. Okay, number 16 over here and I'm assuming we have a conditioner, matching conditioner and yes we do have volumizing conditioner with nettle again 100 mils. Okay number 17 uh, and here we have um, Flora Luminare Glowing Body Oil. Okay I love this fragrance. I didn't expect to like it that much because it's, like a, it's supposed to be like a floral fragrance but it's not like all what it is. I mean, it's a floral, fra floral fragrance, <laughs> but with some slight um, citrusy notes, with some woodsy notes, um, and the floral notes here are like, I'll probably say slightly tropical. There is Lang Lang in it, uh, there is Frangipani, so it's like a sli slightly tropical floral fragrance with strong woodsy notes and some some citruses. Really beautifully made, I really love it, and um, I did have been, I mean, I've, I think I've just used up their like whole full size shower gel in that fragrance. It was amazing. Uh, and now I have a glowing body oil. So that is really cool. This one is again 45 mils. Uh, so yeah, quite happy about that one. Okay, uh, number 18 now. And it's over here. And we have another fragrance, guys. This is. Flora Luminare. So this is the fragrance I just talked uh, about. And yeah, I just. That one actually makes me really happy. Oh, such a gorgeous fragrance. I mean, um, this definitely leans more summery to me, um, but due to that woodsy kind of like uh, base, I think you could potentially pull it off in autumn, maybe, if you'd like it. I think I'm going to keep it for summer though. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm super happy with that one. Number 19. I do struggle a little bit with finding the drawers, but uh, we have something different here. What is this? So we have a hand cream, and this one is orange and bergamot. Classic molten brown fragrance. I think, I think that this is the first fragrance that actually created. I personally really like this fragrance. Uh, I really like their hand creams. I've, tr I've had a couple of them uh, in the last couple of years. So uh, yeah, 
good one. And this one is uh, 40 mils. Perfect. Again, perfect handbag size. Uh, and it just lasts me like forever usually. Like a lot. Like I use them all the time and it still lasts quite a bit. So that's good. All right. Number 20 up here. Okay. Every time it feels like it's almost empty, there is a little fragrance inside. So yes, very happy about that. What do we have here? Milk mask. Okay, another amazing one. I mean, I've had like a little sample of this fragrance. It was gorgeous. Is this, this is Eau de Toilette. Uh, this one is Eau de Toilette. I've tried both Eau de Parfum and Eau de Toilette. I actually really like both of them too. So yeah. Oh, this is just so beautiful. It's this beautiful, creamy, slightly musky fragrance. It's just so pretty. So just to let you know, this is on the toilet and then uh, Recharge Black Pepper was also on the toilet. The other fragrances were in other profound concentration. So if that seems like something uh, that's important to you, then there you go. There's that piece of information. Uh, okay, we're moving on to day number 21, which is up here and we have another big one. This is a... Uh, this is something I really wanted to try. This is Neo Number Bath and Shower Gel, and I've never actually tried that one. What do we What do we see here? So it says here, Audacious, Intense, Passionate. Oh, that's going to be lovely. Oh, that is such a great fragrance. It's slightly, slightly reminds me of Recharge Black Pepper, but with that, without uh, too much of that pepperiness. Uh, this is gorgeous. This is so pretty. So I'm definitely can't wait to use it up And I really hope we're going to have a body lotion in the next drawer and obviously this is 100 mils uh, as well So day 20 day number 22 over here And surprisingly there is no body lotion. Hmm, okay But we have another hand cream and this one is in heavenly ginger lily and this is 40 mils again so Heavenly Gingerly, if you haven't tried it, um, it, I mean, the name kind of suggests that this is going to be like a very feminine fragrance, but it's not. It's not something that I would just describe as like floral. So definitely a very uh, beautiful unisex fragrance. Uh, I actually, I, I think I've been using this recently, that hand cream, that particular hand cream. So yeah, quite great to have a, a little backup of that now. All right, uh, number 23 over here. And we have another fragrance. So what do we have here? This is Fiery Pink Pepper and this is Eau de Toilette. So yeah, that is actually really cool. Not as exciting. Oh, that's actually really pretty. To be honest, I like it much more than I expected uh, in that kind of form. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So, so far the only uh, fragrance I'm not going to be able to use is uh, the Recharge Black Pepper. Uh, everything else uh, seems perfect and some of them are just amazing like the Milk Mask or uh, the Floral Luminaria one. These are amazing. Okay, let's move on. Uh, let's move on to the Christmas Eve, day number 24. How many days there are by the way? Are there 24 and 25? So day number 24, Christmas Eve is our last day in this advent calendar and we have another bubble. And this one is in, sh in shade, in scent, Vintage Wood Edelflower. So uh, this is not a new fragrance. It's been like a returning one. I think they had it like two years ago, maybe even a year ago as well in the advent calendars, but it's like a very kind of pleasant um, fragrance as well. Um, is it Christmassy? I'm not really sure if I'll just describe it as Christmassy, but to me, this is like a, like a, like, like a all year rounder. I don't really, I couldn't really associate this fragrance with any particular season. Uh, so yeah, it's actually quite cool as well. And it looks cool and it makes like a perfect kind of like stocking filler. Uh, if you just feel like you'd want to share the product in this advent calendar. Okay guys, there you go. This is the whole Molten Brown advent calendar for 2022 fully unboxed. What do you think? My thoughts are this, uh, I think it's brilliant, but obviously I kind of knew what to expect from it. It's there, It has like so many fragrances, which I'm super happy about. There are no candles. I wish there was like a candle or two, but I mean, I kind of knew that before I purchased the advent calendar, so I can't be really complaining about that. Uh, I like the sizes. I think they changed the sizes slightly. I don't remember um, them like putting like 100 ml uh, products like two years ago. As I said, I'm not sure about like how it was like a year ago because I didn't buy that advent calendar. But two years ago, it seems to me like um, all the products were a little bit smaller. But I'm particularly happy with the fragrances here. I just 
I can still smell the milk musk somewhere here on my hand. It's just so gorgeous. So all in all, guys, I'm actually super happy with this loving calendar. I know it's not a cheap one, but obviously this is like a luxurious brand. Uh, and I love the design. I love the box. I love the fact that it's reusable. So yeah. I'm happy. Let me know, guys, what you think about the Southern Calendar. Is it something that looks all right to you? Uh, is it something that it seems quite exciting to you? Or maybe it's just meh. I would love to know your thoughts, uh, so please share them with me in the comment section down below. Okay, so this is everything from me today. For more Advent Calendar unboxings, check those videos here. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye!